Hello everyone, we will continue the topic RFC and in the previous videos, we finished with the coding part. Now we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode. So if some confusion is there, it will be automatically clear. So I will put a breakpoint onto this call function statement. I will go for execution of the program. I will give the input. Suppose I am giving one to five order number. I am executing the program. And I will go to desktop three, most preferable desktop. So I gave the input one to five. If I will double click here, you can see this is a internal table. Now you can see we gave the input one to five. Now, if I want to go inside this function module, I have to do F5. So I am doing F5. Whenever I will do F5, you can see I did F5. And you can see this logic, this function module and this logic I have written in the A4H system. From S4H system, we are calling the function module of A4H system. And there is no runtime error now. So from S4H, we called the function module, our RFC function module of A4H system. If suppose in desktop 3, in desktop 3, we are always able to see the current code, whatever the code is going on. In desktop 2, we can see the stack means what are the various things called one by one and with the help of stack itself you can predict and you will get a full understanding sap did the rfc start and with the help of remote function call we are calling the function module of another system so sap also also did the rfc because this is the topic itself with the help of RFC, yes, we can call the function module of another system. So SAP started the RFC and we are able to call the function module of another system. If I will go to desktop 3 and this logic we have written in the A4X system and we are calling from S4X system and just see how much useful it is. Now, whatever the input we passed, it passed to TVBEL. Now, based upon this input, it will go to VBELN column of VBAK table. Data of these four columns will come into this internal table. If I will show you internal table as of now, zero records. I am doing F6. And you can see we are able to get five records into this internal table. And this data is of A4H system. It is not of S4H system. If I will go to A4H system, this is A4H system. If I will go to A4H, this is your VBAK table. If I will open VBAK table, if I will display this table, I am giving the input 1 to 5. And you can see these four columns data of A4H system, we are getting into S4H system. This is your four column data and five records. Four column data and five records. Now I will simply do F6. Now I am in the original program itself. T output returned the result to LT underscore output. And you can see we have the data of the five records and four columns. Now we are putting a loop and it will display the records one by one. So this data, whatever we are getting is of A4H system and we are able to see in the S4H system. 
and just see the importance if rather than SAP system, you have non-SAP system, suppose that system is using .NET or any other programming language, that system can easily, easily display that data of your SAP system with the help of RFC function module. Now to give you more, more clarity, because people will think VBAK table is in S4, X system also. So it is not the case that it is displaying the data of S4, H itself. No, that is never possible because we are bringing the data of A4, H. So if you want clarity, I'll just go to VBAK table. If I will go to VBAK table in S4, H system, if I will display, if I will put same to same input here in S4H system. In this system, you can see we have only only two records in VBA table 2 and 4, but we are getting the order number 1 to 5. And I showed you in desktop 2 also with the help of remote function call. It is calling the function module of A4H system. And that data of A4X system, we are able to see in the S4H system. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I explained each and everything in the debugging mode. First, firstly, I entered, I entered into this function module using F5 key. After that, I showed you in the desktop to itself, that with the help of RFC, SAP is calling the function module of A4X system. This destination word is very important itself because we covered, yes, RFC is an extension. So whenever you are using the word destination, SAP understand that you are going for remote function call. You are calling the function module of another system into this particular external system. So SAP entered into this particular system and we are able to see the code and we are getting the expected result. And after that, I showed you for the full clarity that it should not be the case. People understand that it is displaying the data of S4H system. No, in S4H system, we have only two records in the VBAK table but we have five records in A4H and we are able to see the all five records in the output. So that's it in this particular video. We will cover further, further topics of RFC in the upcoming videos. Thank you.